All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just hope that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah and that you help out plenty of people along your journey for the rest of your life. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Let's take the most high for another day. Let's just thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let's just thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. Let's just thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Let us thank the Lord for his grace, mercy, favor, and love. His only begotten son died for our sins. His word, all the great things the Lord has done for us that we can't even keep count of. Amen. We always have to stay grateful and appreciative of things, even when things look a little crazy right now, or you might be going through something. I remember that many people all four corners of the earth are suffering on a very harsh level. Okay, so you have to be more appreciative and grateful for things and know that the Lord will turn around for you. Amen. The righteous are not forsaken. The Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. All right. More praising, less complaining. Okay. Trust the Lord. He got you. Okay. Yes, yes, y'all. Thank you, everybody, for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. I'm praying for you all. Okay. So let's always uplift each other in Christ and always encourage each other in the Lord. Hallelujah. Always have that harmony, peace, love, unity, so forth and so forth. All right. Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome, everyone. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth, all kindreds. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Let us sing a new song. Let us call on his name. Let us stay gathered in his presence. Let us always fellowship and gather in love and harmony and unity. Lord. We always have to. Amen. Most definitely got to rejoice, sing a new song, clap your hands, dance, play an instrument, worship in truth and spirit, and serve him with gladness and joy. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Let us love the Lord our God for our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until his son comes back. Amen. Yes, yes, he's come back like a thief in the night. He's come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. He has come back for a people who are spotless blameless, no wrinkle, no spot, no blemish, all right? So let us stay on point for the most high. Let us be washed up by the water, by the word, amen? And just stay ready for his return. Keep our lamps and our oils, amen? Yes, yes, y'all. Let us know the most high better, more close, and more personally, okay? Draw near to God. He will draw near to you. And let's obey the law, statutes, and commandments. Let's obey the gospel. Let's obey all of the words. And any personal things the Lord has told us personally for our lives, according to our purpose and our call, let's obey that as well, amen? Always stay in obedience, people, Yes, yes, taking one day at a time, all right? Now, in today's message, we're going to go through this commentary within the book of Exodus regarding Jacob, okay? So this is like a little interview, kind of recap, kind of blast from the past type of commentary within the scriptures. And then we'll just close out with a prayer. We'll close out with a priestly blessing. And we'll close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise the only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. All right, so this commentary is actually within Exodus, but based on the book of Genesis, dealing with Joseph and Jacob, everything that he's been through in his life in a, like, storytelling sense, okay? So let's go through with the commentary. The title of this commentary is The One Named Israel, Jacob. Then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have wrestled with God and with men and have overcome. The book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 28. So this is my harvest. Jacob fingered the tattered remnants of Joseph's coat that his ten sons had brought him. Animals did it, said his son Reuben. Dried blood darkened one corner of the garment. Violent images of slashing claws and tearing flesh flashed through Jacob's mind. He managed to dislodge the visions with a shake of his head, but he could not silence the thoughts. This is my harvest, the paint I deserve for all the paint I've caused others. Jacob stared hard into the shimmering desert heat, waiting for the familiar parade of accusers to emerge. These were the images that had haunted his dreams and his waking hours since he'd lost his son, Joseph. First to emerge was Isaac, his beloved father. Jacob has tricked me. Isaac's voice was feeble, but the anguish in it was unmistakable. Jacob rubbed the back of his neck, almost expecting to feel the goat skin he'd used years earlier to disguise himself as his brother Esau. On a cue, Esau emerged from the hazy desert air. I will kill my brother Jacob. Jacob recoiled at the sound of his brother's desperate rage and then smiled to himself. 
Though he and Esau had long since buried their animosity, Jacob's years of living on the run had conditioned him to panic at the sight of his brother. The final accusers were the ones Jacob dreaded most. You love Joseph more than us. They were his, el his ten oldest sons. Their words cut him deeply. You paraded him in front of us like royalty. You clothed him in a fine coat and gave us rags. You showered gifts on him and ignored us. You drove a wedge between him and us. Jacob buried his face in the fragments of Joseph's coat. Why must a son be made to pay for the sins of his father? He cried. Jacob heard movements and looked up. Another figure emerged from the vaporous heat. Jacob recognized him immediately as the man he had wrestled years earlier near the Jabbok River. The one who had disabled his hip with a single touch. The one who had named him Israel. Jacob recalled the words the man had spoken. You have struggled with God and with men and have overcome. My struggles continue, Jacob stated, knowing full well he was talking to a mirage, a mirage, but what of this overcoming? Is there yet a future for me? Amen. Back to the future. What do you rely on to help you overcome your struggles? What has God promised you that gives you courage to face the future? How can you develop a deeper reliance on God? The story continues to see how God continued to help Jacob. Read the book of Genesis chapter 25, verses 19, all the way through chapter 35, verse 29. Also the book of Genesis chapter 37, verses 1 through 36. And also the book of Genesis chapter 42, verses 1, all the way to Genesis chapter 50, verse 14. All right, so there you have it. All right, that is the commentary regarding Jacob and Joseph and Esau, okay? Just a glimpse of everything that transpired within those events and how much it could take a toll on somebody, but relying on God, I trust on the most high through it all. Amen. So it's just very interesting how we could call on God in just the most crazy situation moments of our lives and know that he'll pull, he'll pull through for us. Hallelujah. So God is no respecter of persons. He will look out for us people. He will see us through. Okay. The outstretched arm got us. Okay. Most definitely, okay? So that's just the comments I just wanted to read and share with you all, okay? Just always remind yourself that the same way jo jo Jacob and Joseph endured so much for the Lord and the Lord looked out for them, he's going to look out for us too in these last days, amen? He will keep doing what he's been doing. We serve a true living God, all right? And the Lord changed not, okay? So the Lord still got us right where he needs us, amen? Most definitely, so... There you have it, all right? What I would love to do as I close out with this message is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise is only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen? Hallelujah. So here we go. Yes, yes, y'all. Praise him, praise him. Call on him, y'all. Most definitely the God of Adam, the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Most definitely he is the last Adam, the second Adam, the advocate, the almighty, true and living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen? The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, Wonderful Counselor, the Creator, the Dayspring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel, the Eternal Life, the Everlasting Father, the Faith and True Witness, Faithful and True, the Faithful Witness, the First and the Last, the First Begotten, the First Born from the Dead, First Born over all creation, the Forerunner, the Gate, the Glory of the Lord, God, the Good Shepherd, the Great High Priest, the Great Shepherd, the Head of the Church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the land. The Lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the, the Ancient of Days, the Last Adam, the Lawgiver, the Leader and Commander, the Life, the Lie of the World, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, the Living One, the Living Stone, the Lord, the Lord our righteousness, the Lord is my portion, the Lord is my strength, the Lord is my rock, the Lord is my fortress, the Lord is my high tower, the Lord is my refuge, the Lord is my buckler, the Lord is my salvation, my strength, my deliverer, my redeemer, all of that, amen. The Lord our God is one, there's no other like him. Most definitely believe that he is the sufficient one, he is the sustainer. Yes, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh ben Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim. 
Yes, Yehoshua, Yehoshua, Yeshua. Yes, Ahia Yeshaya, the consuming fire, the father of lights, the father of the fathers, the father of widows, the father of mercies, the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. Yes, he is the great physician, can heal all things. He is the carpenter, can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. He is a reward to those who seek him diligently. God made everything in six days and rest on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He could fix it any given time in due time and his time and his perfect time and let his will be done forevermore. Amen. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. God's word fails not. Heaven and earth shall pass away. God's word are forever. Okay. God's word does not go void. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord, y'all. Praise him, y'all. Praise him. Yes, y'all, the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrector, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man. Son of the blessed, of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. Call on him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah. The word of the consuming fire, the word of Elohim, most definitely. His word is pure, fine, silver, just as David said in Psalms. And the word is a double-edged sword, just the book of Hebrews. Say we touch and agree. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We serve an awesome creator, and his son is amazing for dying for our sins. Most definitely believe that. His son is excellent for dying for our sins. His blood cleaned up our mess. Yes, yes, his blood cleanses all filth, all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Most definitely. He is the seed of Abraham, promise, the seed of Adam, humanity, the seed of David, kingship, the seed of God, deity, the seed of Jacob, nationality, the seed of Judah, tribe, the seed of Shem, race, the seed of woman, prophecy. We touch and agree. In the authority and the power and name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, new dreams, new visions, new song to sing. Yes, new insights. Yes, yes, the Father is going to do something that you, no eye has seen, no ear has heard. Amen. Hallelujah. More signs, miracles, wonders. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, let the Lord fix it. Let the Lord fix it. Amen. Yes, trust in him, submit to him. Hallelujah. Most definitely, all right? So there you have it, okay? I just pray to God that whoever lists this message, I pray that you repent and get baptized such a life from the most high, okay? So there you have it, okay? What I would love to do as I close out this message is give you all the priestly blessing on the way out. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. Amen. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope that you all stay strong out there. Stay encouraged. You take it one day at a time, people. Keep spreading the gospel. Keep doing a great commission. Keep doing Father's will. Keep helping people in your situation and keep advancing. Keep going higher levels spiritually and keep doing Father's business. Amen. I love you all. Peace.